Hello, good evening. I am going to say this. Do not bring your straight male friend to a pride event. Do not come to a pride event with your partner that is of another gender than you and you can pass for a heterosexual couple. Now, if you are both queer, that is one thing. But if you are bisexual and you are going to a pride event with a bunch of women or queer people, regardless of gender, please do not bring a fucking straight male with you as your fucking date. Please do not do that because it is rude. It is inconsiderate. You do not understand the history of how we as LGBT people live in a very heteroromantic society, no, not heteroromantic, heterosexist society that pretty much forces people to be in heterosexual relationships. So when we come to a pride event to celebrate our sexuality, we really don't wanna be bombarded with straight images. So please, please have some consideration and please do not bring your straight male friend to an LGBTQIA event if he's not going to be respectful enough to understand that this is about fucking pride and LGBTQIA and not him trying to get some ass, which is exactly what happened Saturday when I went to meet up with this girl at Pride and we had talked about how we are, we're going to go together and you know, I don't have a car, she doesn't have a car, so we were just going to meet across the bridge. Well, when I get there, they had actually closed it down because they heard that it was going to rain. But it never rained, so they reopened it. But as I was walking across the bridge, I had to turn all the way back because they closed the gate at 4.50. So I meet the girl at the end of the bridge. We're talking. She introduces her friend. I'm thinking, okay, that's cool. She probably uh, invited him along. That's one of her friends that she knows from school or work. I didn't care. But then as we were talking, I realized that she had just met this guy at the event. And she decided to bring him along. And I'm, I'm just confused because if we agree to go to an event together... I want it to just be me and you unless you are going to invite someone prior. Then you need to tell me. You don't just, oh, there's some guy that I just met or, oh, here's a friend of mine that I just met. Let me go hang out with her for a minute and leave you hanging. The reason why I invited you to this event was because I did not want to go by myself. I might as well have came by myself if you were just going to give this guy all this attention and then leave me to the side like a third wheel because I did not come here to be a fucking third wheel. This guy clearly did not want me around. All this guy was interested in was trying to get you alone and get some ass and you couldn't even take the social cues to see that. You couldn't have said, okay, let's exchange numbers, then I'll hit you up later. No, this guy wants to invite himself into our little group it was just two of us, but you're going to include yourself into the group and then try to leave me off to the side while you make your move on this girl. And I hate that. I hate when men do this, where they approach two women and obviously they like one woman. They talk to her and then try to get her alone and leave the other woman by herself. That's not cool. Exchange numbers if you have to. But you don't need to make it about yourself and then try to include yourself into the circle knowing that eventually that woman is going to leave and then the both of you are going to be together by yourselves. And at this point, I was not going to tell her, oh, you need to leave this guy alone. You need to pay attention to me. I basically said, you know what? I'm tired. I walked across this bridge about four times because we were originally supposed to just get something to eat and then leave. But this guy kept basically saying, oh, let's go back to this event. Let's go back to this event. Like every time I was saying that I was tired and we should leave, get something to eat and basically go back to her place. He kept basically trying to get her to go to pride with him. First of all, you don't even know this girl. You're 23 and she's 19. 
and here you are basically just interested in getting some ass from this girl and I did not appreciate that at all so when we went to pride I was there for maybe an hour or so but eventually I said you know what I'm tired I'm going to leave because my whole time was ruined with the fact that they had closed the event for no reason at all and then reopened it so we had to walk across that bridge again I walked across the bridge maybe about four times I think no three times because I walked across the bridge one time then I had to go all the way back so that was the second time then we had to go back the third time so that was three times and you know I have a disability so I get tired and fatigued easily I have to sit I cannot stand up for too long or I will pass out I don't like being in the heat a lot of times because I will get dehydrated because I don't have I have a vitamin deficiency so I will pass out and I have overheated before I almost overheated at my own graduation so please do not think that I'm rude if I want to sit down. And every time I say that I'm tired, I have to sit. It's like people want to try to sit with me. Oh, okay, just take your time and we'll sit with you. But really, they're trying to rush me. Like, okay, hurry up. You know, I want to go and have a good time. Okay, then go by yourself while I'm sitting here. Well, I don't want to leave you alone. Okay, well, I'm going to take my time. You're not going to rush me. If I say I do not feel well, I am going to pass out. Please do not sit up here and try to sit next to me hoping that five minutes later I'm going to have enough energy to get back up because that is selfish and that is ableist. I just told you that I did not feel well. So why are you now trying to act as if you are so concerned when you're not really concerned? You just want me to hurry up because you think I'm being lazy. But no, I am about to pass out. I have a vitamin deficiency. I don't have very good motor skills. I cannot walk for a long time. And my mom makes these jokes. Oh, get yourself a wheelchair. If I could, I would. You know, it's not a big deal. If I, have, if I need a wheelchair, I need a wheelchair. But what you're not going to do is try to rush me and make me feel like I'm a horrible person because I'm tired and I want to sit out and I don't want to walk for fucking two hours. So yeah, when we got to the pride event, I said, you know what, I'm tired. And then what really made me mad was I'm sitting outside, I'm sitting on the concrete because I'm tired, I'm about to pass out. This guy that she's with is like, oh, well, let's go inside because there's benches. I don't want to stand out here. Okay, well, you fucking ass. First of all, this guy was racist too because he said that he made dream catchers. So I'm like, oh, like Native Americans, right? And he said, yeah, like Native Americans and all that. And I'm thinking, okay, are you Native American? And he's like, no. And then when me and my friend were talking about Cassie marrying some very handsome white man with, you know, very beautiful blue eyes and great features and some curly hair. <laughs> he is, Cassie, Cassie really lucked out. Like, well played, Cassie. You got yourself a fine as white man, by the way. But we were discussing Cassie. So I said, you know, the baby's going to be essentially not black because Cassie is only a fourth black and my friend says really I thought she was half black I said well her mom is I, her mom could be fully black I don't know but from what I understand her mom is black Mexican and West Indian no African American Mexican and West Indian so for all I know she could very well be half black and her mom is basically multiracial, but she's majority black. While her dad is Filipino. But I'm saying that I assume that Cassie is probably about maybe half black or so. So I said the baby ain't going to be black. I made a joke about that. I mean, I understand multiracial identities. You can identify how you want. If you see yourself as black because of your parent, that is fine. You know, I don't, I'm not one of those, oh my God, one drop rule. Fuck that. But I made a joke about that. So this guy says, oh, that's a good mixture. And he says, I'm mixed with Russian, Italian, Irish, all of these European ethnicities. So I said, not only do we come to a pride event to meet some straight man, we meet some cis straight white man that's racist and a cultural appropriator. And you know, black people love to say, 
white people don't know the difference between mixed and black, but yet they saying the same thing that we said. Ooh, that's a good mixture. He's talking about how, you know, we have fake hair. Oh, well, isn't your braids fake anyway? He asked me this because my friend and I were talking about braids and how I need to get my hair done. And he makes a comment, well, isn't it fake hair? And my friend had to say, no, her hair isn't really fake. What her hair is, is extensions. There's a difference between weaves and extensions. What she has are extensions because she has cornrows and it's just braided into her hair, whereas I have a wig. So I'm just like over it. I'm, I'm really just not a big fan of this guy. I don't vibe well. I'm trying to be friendly, but at the same time, I'm already pissed that not only did she invite him to our outing, but he's tagging along and he's trying to monopolize the conversation and the attention. And every time I try to talk to her, he was trying to butt in. And I didn't appreciate that. So basically, the moral of the story is, if you are going to invite your boyfriend or your male friend along with a girl's outing, especially when it's LGBT and both of them are bisexual or one of them is a lesbian, please let the person know and I'll say okay that's cool or I'll say fucking no because this is supposed to be about us as women as queer women just hanging out and embracing our sexuality and, and having a good time and meeting other like-minded queer people now this man could have very well been bisexual okay but I just did not appreciate how he was making it all about his att attraction to her and basically you know grabbing her and wanting to hold her hand and putting his hand around her waist and just evading her boundaries and I just found that very inappropriate because if I had a man with me I wouldn't have done that I, I wouldn't have let him do all that public display of affection now if we were comfortable with each other and we all were friends that's different that is different if we all know each other okay public display of the that lover public display of affection is completely normal but if I don't know you and you just met the person that is not okay so basically this is for bisexual women because I'm bisexual as well so I ain't trying to be biphobic but please respect your bisexual girlfriend or lesbian girlfriends boundaries and when I say girlfriend I mean just a platonic female friend Please respect their boundaries and please do not invite a straight man along, especially if you don't know him and she doesn't know him because that cannot end well, please. Because I honestly had an anxiety attack and I did have to leave and I told her I have to leave. I'm sick and tired. You can go have fun with your new friend, but I'm not going to stay here and be a third wheel. And I didn't actually tell her that. But I basically said that I was sick and tired. Um, I have to leave early. But it was a little bit shady. I actually left because I didn't really appreciate that she had to bring him along. You know, it, it had been different if she knew him. But she just met him. And my thing is, why would you go to a pride event just to hook up with somebody that, you know, is a guy and you're a girl? Or if you're a guy, why would you go to Pride to hook up with a girl? Like, I don't understand. This is not for straight couples. And if you disagree, and if you feel like, well, I mean, Pride is just a place to have a good time, you know, it's to support the LGBT, but it's not necessarily to be all about, you know, LGBT relationships, which I agree. Like, I don't agree when people say love is love and how, you know, black people or gay people in general are being killed because they love one another no we are being killed because we are gay we are being killed because we are trans it has nothing to do with love they don't care they kill us because of our sexuality because we live in a cis heteronormative society so i don't really like how the white gays have to reduce it to well we're killed because we love each other like no that, that that's some corny ass shit. we're killed because our sexualities and bodies are politicized 
fat queer people are killed. You know, when you go to pride events, it's not just about loving each other and showing public displays of affection and sexually harassing people like there are some gay white men that do. And these gay white men will be in their fucking dirties, be pushing each other, be touching and groping each other. No, this is not what pride is about. You see, you have fat, dark skinned, black queer people walking around in crop tops. They are wearing revealing outfits. You know, it's about body positivity. It's about sex positivity. It is more than just wanting to love and fuck somebody. It is about our fucking queer ass bodies and a cis heteronormative society. It is, you know, you got natural hair conventions for queer black women. You have conventions for masculine black women. You have conventions for feminine black women. You got conventions for non-binary people of color, um, Native Americans. It is more than just marrying and loving somebody it is a political movement and for white people to reduce it to oh you know we're killed because we love each other when no we're killed because we're queer and we're fat and we're black and we're disabled it is more than just some attractive straight people loving each other not did i say straight it is more than just some attractive skinny white gays loving each other it, it's more than that and also what I want to say is I hate when I go to Pride and I have a couple of white people that will look at me and wonder if I'm queer, if I'm straight. First of all, you need to mind your damn business. Second of all, you trying to police every film, you, you trying to police every film black woman that walks in, right? But yeah, you don't say anything about the straight white girls that come in and giggling with their straight boyfriend. But no, every time you see a group of black girls walk in and they are all film, you all of a sudden got to stare at them like, do you even belong here? Like, are you even queer? You don't even know that. You don't know anything about us. So I don't understand why it's always white gays especially white lesbians that be staring at us like do you even belong like bitch mind your damn business because we talk about how lesbians always discriminate against bisexual women that's not true i've never had a problem with black lesbians but I, what i do have a problem with are white lesbians that always want to like ev ev evade my boundaries and then when i say that's not cool oh well you must not be gay if you don't like pussy no i don't like your pussy i don't like your pussy okay so please just leave me the fuck alone because i'm kind of over pride just being a, an excuse to act a damn fool and to judge people or to invade somebody's space because i'm not down with that okay that is all for today